All right, welcome back to another Discord tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to set up reaction roles in your Discord server. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that only 0.5% of you are subscribers to my YouTube channel, so it would really mean a lot if you guys head down below and hit the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I post new Discord tutorials. If this video helps you by the end, just make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot. In this video, we're going to be using Carlbot. Carlbot is an extremely powerful Discord bot that has a lot of different features, including reaction roles. To head over and add Carlbot, go to carl.gg. In the top left corner, you'll see this little plus button that says invite. Just go ahead and click on this. It'll redirect you to the Discord authorization page. Here, you can specify where you want to add Carlbot to. I'm going to click on this list and then select the server I want to add the bot to. I'm going to add it to my server called Cafe Discord Tutorials. If your server does not show up in this little selection right here, that means that you do not have the managed server permission in your Discord server. So make sure that you either have a role with managed servers or have the administrator access. After this, head over and click this little continue button. At this screen, you'll see the various permissions we're granting Carlbot. You can go ahead and leave all of these checkmarked and click Authorize. One thing you'll notice right here is that Carlbot is actually used in 387,000 Discord servers. That's a lot. Press Authorize. Verify that you're not a robot and continue. Carlbot should now pop up in your Discord server. Check the member list on the side and make sure that Carlbot has been added. You can make sure that it's the actual bot and not some fake user by having this bot tag right here. Now let's get started with using Carlbot. To access the Carlbot commands, you can do add Carlbot help. We're going to look at the prefixes that Carlbot has. You'll notice that Carlbot has a few prefixes. It has the at Carlbot, question mark, and exclamation mark. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to be using the question mark. You can do question mark, then react role space make. This will start the reaction role making process. Hit enter. First, it's going to ask you which channel you want to add the reaction role message to. I'm going to add this to announce. Actually, I'll change it to video 2. After doing so, Carlbot will ask you what you want the message to say. I'm going to show you guys a really clean layout throughout the rest of this video, so make sure to just keep watching. After this, let's specify the title and description we want. For title, I'm going to say, get your color rules, and then use the bar, and finally, the description. For the description, I'm just going to do these little brackets right here um, with rules. Hit enter. After doing so, it's going to want a color. Here, you can specify colors like FFFFF, like F6 times, those types of colors, or you can just click right here to select one. I'm going to click right here and then select a nice color. Some colors I recommend are the light pastel blues or the light green blues. Um, so for example, you can select a green blue type of color and uh, go up to this top left corner. So this looks like a nice tag, so I'm just going to copy this right here and head back over to our server and just enter it right here with the hash symbol. Press enter and Carlbot will now display this color that you just selected right here. So now we're going to be specifying the roles. For the roles, you can enter the emote along with the name you want in the description. Here, I'm going to specify an amount like red circle, and then specify the name, for example, red color. Or you could also tag the role name, such as at red. After that, you can now do the next one. Carlbot will react with this little check mark here, so you know you've done it successfully. Now I'm going to do at orange. All right. I think that's about good now, so as soon as Carlbot reacts with the check mark, I'm just going to click done. Carlbot is now done adding the reaction rules. You can head over by clicking right here, and it will um, display this little get your color rules where you can specify the colors you want in your Discord server. 
If this doesn't work, like let's say you click on this roll and it's not actually giving you the color right here, all you really have to do is head over to your server settings, go to roles, and make sure that the Carlbot role is above all other roles. The other thing you're going to want to make sure is that the emojis you're using are in the Discord server or are default Discord emotes. You can't use emotes from other servers, so let's say I have this server right here, I can't use these emotes unless I add them to the server itself. So to do that, you can just enter the emote and then right click and press save image as. So now that we're done with the basic Carlbot reaction rule setup, I'm going to show you guys something a little bit more advanced so you can set up reaction rules even faster. So to do that, all you have to do is do at Carlbot RR. This will give you the full list of Carlbot reaction rule commands. You can see that there's literally 35 reaction rule commands and you can edit commands, you can edit the colors, you can edit the emojis, you can literally do almost anything. You can even do react rule fix in case you clear the emojis or you can do react rule links to show the different messages. Carlbot will allow you to add a maximum of 250 reaction rules, which is honestly way more than you need, and this should be good for your purposes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like below. As I said at the beginning of this video, it would really help me out a lot if you guys would be so kind to hit the subscribe button as well. I have a full playlist of various Discord tutorials in the description down below, so just head over and click on that playlist. There's a lot of things on how you can set up your server, get thousands of members fast and even more. In the pinned comment, I'm going to be leaving some various steps and a lot more info, so make sure you check out the pinned comment if you haven't already. With that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this Discord tutorial, and I'll see you next time.